My name is Rhapsody of Realities. Hello, welcome to today's edition of Rhapsody of Realities Reading Party. God bless you. Today is Saturday, 13th February, our year of preparation, and our theme today is Make Power Available First. And our theme scripture today is from James chapter 5, verse 16. The earnest, heartfelt, continued prayer of a righteous man makes tremendous power available, dynamic in its working. Pastor Chris says, Many don't understand the importance of heartfelt, continued prayers. They speak for words ever be- before spending quality time in prayer and they wonder why their declarations aren't effective. You have to learn how to make power available first. When you've made power available, then make proclamation of faith. The change you desire will be established. Read the story of Elijah in 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 18. He had prayed drought into existence, and it didn't rain, not a drop for three and a half years. Then it was time for the drought to end. Elijah petitioned the Lord for rain. It wasn't just some short, casual cabling of words in prayer. No, it was earnest, heartfelt, continued, and fervent. He sent out his servants six times to see if there was a sign as he continued in prayer, expecting an answer. The servant came back the seventh time and said, I see a small cloud, very small, like the size of a man's hand, raising raising out of the sea. That was all Elijah needed. He knew he had prevailed. He told the servants, Quickly then, on your way, tell Ahab, saddle up and get down from the mountain before the rain stops him, stops you. 1 Kings chapter 18 verse 44, message translation. Observe the sequence. Elijah made tremendous power available through heartfelt prayers and then gave the word. Same way, after you've stirred up the Holy Ghost storm in your closet, that's when you speak for Rema. That's one sure way you can effectively alter the course of event to align with God's divine plan, purpose, and world in your life, family, city, nation, and around the world. Hallelujah. For further studies, you read James chapter 5, verse 16 to 18. And you take it from the Amplified Classic Translation. 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 41 to 44. If you are on the one-year Bible reading plan, you read the scriptures down the one-year Bible reading plan. If you're on the two-year Bible reading plan, you also follow the scriptures down the two-year Bible reading plan. In faith, say this verse after me. Dear Father, I pray for nations of the world today that your will and purpose be established everywhere. May the heartfelt, may the hearts of leaders and those in authority be yielded to do and follow what's right. And I declare that the power and influence of those who have set their hearts to do evil be cut off, and their desires thwarted. In Jesus' name. The church prevails and dominates by the power of the Spirit. Amen. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, If you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. 
I believe he died to save me. I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God.